everyone, this is Gina. I want to open the December bargain bead box for you. I apologize for being a little late in opening this one. It's just the season, you know. I've been trying to do shopping and baking. and So anyway, I want to get this box open and let you see what's inside it. The bargain bead box is usually a really, really good little collection. It's $17.95 a month. And if you use the code GGC2, you can get $2 off your first box when you subscribe. And it comes with a nice piece of paper here. It tells you where to go to put your creations on for a contest and a coupon for the sister site. And then on the back, it has the identification key. So each thing inside the bag, each item is numbered. And then you can compare the number to the identification code here and um, know exactly what you've got. So let's go ahead and um, open this bag. It comes in a bag instead of a box to shave, to save, not shave, to save on um, costs. And that way you get more beads instead of a box. And so let's stamp all this out. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. This particular one is called Merry and Bright. And it is the December collection features festive holiday accents coupled with timeless turquoise to move easily into the new year. So let's look and see what we've got. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in order so that I can just show them to you and read them off easily. And I'll be right okay. back. So I've laid them all in order so I can just move through these easily. I'm going to move them back a little bit so you can see what I have. Number one is a 16 inch strand of 8 millimeter man made turquoise round beads. So let me get this out. And that's a nice long strand of turquoise color round beads. And they're 8 millimeter, so they make a nice presence if you're going to string something. They show up well. So that's number one. Nice color, little tiny bit of matrix in them just to make them look more natural. It's very pretty. And then we have number two, which is 7.5 inch strand of 6x4 Sinkaya, sin I don't know what that says, turquoise faceted rondelle beads. So these are pretty. I like these. I actually have some of these and I've used them in little bracelets and things and they always turn out pretty pair those with a little sterling silver or a little bit of something silver tone. That's pretty. Nice sparkle to those too. That was number two. Number three is 40 piece 7 millimeter lacy bead caps. So let's see. Oh, these are pretty. I'll turn one over so you can see it. Turn over you. Get you close. Those are pretty. And there's 40 of them in there, so that's more than enough to make a necklace or something pretty with. And then we have number four, which is three sets, 20 by 22 millimeter swirl pattern toggle clasps. So let's see. Toggles are always a great thing to have. Oh, these are pretty. I love different toggles. They always just make a nice finish to your piece. Those are pretty. Very nice. And I like that we have the antique brass or bronze look. I really like that because um, I sometimes a warmer color instead of just always using silver is nice to change the feel of your pieces. Numbers Let's see. I was going to number seven. I don't want seven. I want five. Number five is 20 piece 7 by 5 millimeter fancy bicone spacer beads. This does not look like a fancy bicone. So, let's see. Well, they're not very fancy bicone. Um, they are kind of flat, but anyway, that's what is labeled for number five. 
and they are pretty. I would say they're more of a rondelle shape than bicone. Maybe maybe they're bicone shaped. Yeah, they're kind of bicone shaped. But those are really pretty. I love the way they co um, coordinate all the colors and all the findings and components are the same color so that you can make nice pieces together. I like that. And then number, I keep going to number seven. I want number six. Number six is, this is a big thing, 61 by 58 millimeter round poinsettia focal ornament chandelier. Let's see. Well, this could be a really cute ornament, that's for sure. Or you can make a great big pendant out of it. You could glue little crystals on it or sew something on it or just leave it like it is. That's really quite pretty. You can make a cool ornament out of that. And then, finally, number seven. It keeps seeming to get in my hand, so... Number seven is seven piece, 19.5 by 15 millimeter snowflake charms. Oh, these are cute. Nice, double sided, pretty little filigree looking pieces. That's pretty. I like those. Now, I know it's really close to Christmas right now, but all this stuff, of course, will work really well for next year, too. Number eight is filigree wreath pendants. Oh, these are cute. Look at that. That would make a really cute set of earrings or even a pendant. You make a couple of pieces for somebody. That's really cute. I like that. And then number nine is six piece 22.5 by 16 millimeter snowflake rounds. So let's see what we got in here. These are cool too. These would make a really cool bracelet, link them together with something pretty in between. Or, as a dangle earring, you could put something on one side, ear wire on the other side, a dangle or something. Yeah, that's really pretty. I wish I had gotten myself together to open this earlier. I could have used some of these things as I was making my gifts, but I will con I'd use them anyway. I mean, you keep stuff in your little bead stash so that you can make things year-round. This one is number 10. And it is 7.5 inch strand of 6x4 glass top drilled rondelle beads. Top drilled. Oh, so they kind of a drop. That's cute. Look at that. Different shape. That Yeah, it looks like candy. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So on my camera, they're coming across kind of pink, but they are a true red color. And then that was number 10. So we need number 11 now. And number 11 is five piece, approximately 31 by 10 millimeter. It's that Sinkayag, I don't know how to say that, turquoise teardrop pendants. So that you could mix with this. It's a little bit different tone, but not that much. Or you could put them with this one and that would make a cool drop earring. That would make a cool drop pendant. You could put them all together as a focal, you know, put something in between them and just have them as a focal on a necklace. That would be cool without these big old huge beads in between, a little round bead in between, and that would be really pretty. I make that style quite often and it always seems to sell well. People like that kind of focal. And then, 12. 12 is, those are some bright beads. 12 is 15 inch strand, 6 millimeter frosted glass round beads, electric coral. And it is electric. Boy, that is bright. Look at how pretty that is. Really pretty. And it would go nice with the color of findings that we have in this package, too. 
That's really cool. I like the frosted glass too. It just appeals to me for some reason. 13 is four piece 13 millimeter cut glass crystal star beads, metallic green iris. Oh, those are pretty. Those are really pretty. That would make a really pretty, if you put them together like this, you could just make a Y-shaped necklace with a um, drop down the middle with the with the stars. That would be really pretty. Or, of course, there's lots of things you could do, but that just came to mind, having something just drop straight down with the sparkly stars. I think that would be really cool looking. And then we've got number 14, which is 7.5 inch strands, approximately 6 to 12 millimeter tumbled, Agate Pebble Beads Evergreen. Oh, that is nice. Wouldn't it be nice to have a rock tumbler and just go out in the backyard and start frost, uh, start polishing up some pretty rocks? I like rocks. Rocks are my friend. Look how pretty those are. And that's that. We're not going to put it back in there. And that was number 14, so we need number 15. Number 15 is two-piece, 24-millimeter lampwork glass Christmas tree beads. And all this stuff, even if you are behind like I am, you could throw something like these together into a pair of earrings and make them for a really quick gift. I mean, and just put a head pin through there and blam, ear wire, you got a gift. Those are cute. And then number 16, one meter, five millimeter oval steel jewelry chain. I love that they send chain. I'm getting a really good collection of chain with these boxes and it's very helpful because having it in all different colors and it's always just the right size. This really helps me when I'm doing my designing. I can grab a piece of chain. So just getting a stash of chain is really nice. I enjoy that. And the, it's a nice long piece, so you can make several pieces. And most of the time, I just use segments anyway. So it really, these go a long ways for me, and I've really enjoyed having it on hand. And number 17 is 8-inch Chinese Crystal 8x6 Rondell Beads Matte Lime Shimmer. And those are pretty, too. Christmassy. So that is what is in this month's um, bargain bead box, and I apologize for being a little late showing it to you guys, um, but like I said, this month has been a little crazy for me, and I do work a full-time job too, so trying to do all the extra stuff has been a little crazy for me, but we're getting there. Anyway, this is all the stuff that you can create with this month, and I'll try to put something together this weekend out of it and show you some finished pieces if I <laughs> if I get uh, a lot accomplished, we'll see. Anyway, this is the Bargain Bead Box, and every month it comes, it has lots of nice components, and it is $17.95. It is one of the most reasonable box reasonable boxes I've found and it always has a really nice variety of stuff in it and you can actually create lots from just having a few months of this subscription you could make all kinds of stuff. I like that it always includes a variety of gemstones and <clears throat> different types of glass beads and what I really enjoy are all the components that come in it because components if you're stringing especially or even if you're reed weaving a component can make all the difference in the world and just to spark your creativity. Anyway, that's what's in this box. And remember to use the code GGC2. And if you're a new subscriber and you'll get $2 off your first box, that's already a big savings and that just adds a little bit extra incentive. So go to bargainbeadbox.com. I'll put a link somewhere up here, at, or not a link, but I'll put in caption the code and um, the site and then I'll put a link in the description box below. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this opening and see you soon with the tutorial. Bye bye.